Alright guys, welcome back to Scotty's Backyard Barbecue. Barbecue the way of life, folks. Today we're going to do the old school, I mean old school, the way we did the 3 2 ribs, the 3 2 1 rib back in the 70s and 80s. These younger generation, newer people, in my opinion, is doing it all wrong. And I'll explain that. Alright, I got a couple of requests from viewers. The wife likes their 3 2 1 ribs. And I'm going to show them how to do it the right way. My way, I did it in the 70s and 80s, alright folks? We got two racks of baby back ribs. I got seasoned up with Uncle Steve Magic Ribs. I had a link as always for Uncle Steve. We got the Tahoma 900 fired up, 225. Alright, I got Applewood chunks in there. I'm running uh, Kingsford Low and Slow Charcoal with Applewood wood chunk in the, in the ash pan. Alright folks, let's put these ribs on. Hang on folks. Bring you in closer. Alright folks, we're going to do two racks of ribs. Squish them up a little bit. All I did in these ribs is I just did a slight trimming and I removed the membrane. That's it. Alright, we got it set at 225. I will set the timer. Three hours. Timer set. Three hours, folks. There we go. We'll see you back here exactly three hours, folks. All right, guys, we want one minute left on our three hour mark. Now we're going to wrap them and pull them out of here. And I'll put them over here on this foil. We'll wrap them. Hang on, I'll move you guys. Don't fall. Hold on. I won't dump you. Okay. Let me go get them ribs off. Oh, there they are, folks. A little hot. Now, explaining the three two ribs, folks. Hope you can see that sun shining. Alright. Through the years, <coughs> people started adding stuff to this honey and butter and barbecue sauce and apple juice and all that is liquid liquid steams liquid will poach your meat while you're cooking in the old days we never did that we took them out after we did it for three hours light these in the center i got two pieces of heavy duty foil <coughs> we're not putting oh that's my timer hang on folks that's my three hour mark. Ah, as I say, now we're, we're going to put it the meat side up, not down. Be careful. That's why we got two things, not to poke the bones. We're going to wrap it. We're not going to add nothing to this. That's how we did it in the old days. Three, two, one, rib. Through the years, people started adding liquid to the wrapper. And wrapping with liquid steams, all right? Get the yellow one out. That's two is hot. All right. Yeah, beautiful pullback, folks. Well, try not to slide it. You could rip it. I might have ripped it a little bit, but I think not. All right. Nothing added. Just the Uncle Steve rib magic. We're gonna wrap these up. Careful not to poke them. This is how we did it in the old days in the barbecue contest in the '80s. We didn't add nothing to the package. And I think that's where people are making their mistakes through the years. They put stuff in there and it will steam and it'll make your ribs all mushy. Let's not do that, folks. All right, back in the pit. There we go. The meat side up, folks. We'll set the timer for two minutes or two hours. See, it's going off. Timer. Oh, timer. Always hit the wrong button. Turn it nice and slow, you don't break it. Love my timer, folks, you know that. You gotta be very touchy, though, folks. It's close enough, two hours and eight minutes. All right, 2.25, shut the lid. We'll be back in exactly two hours, folks. All right, guys, it's been exactly two hours. 
on our 321 rib. We're going to pull these out. We're going to unwrap them. <coughs> All right. How do you like my little table? Got that off of that Beanmo website where it is. Perfect for the outdoors, stainless steel. Got wheels on it, rolls good. These smell absolutely amazing, folks. Let's take them off, put them back in the pit. Them definitely tender. Now you probably saw some up. I got some old school KC masterpiece in this bottle. I've been outside keeping warm. We're gonna mop that off every 15 minutes or so. Oh, that felt good. Woohoo! These are definitely tender, fall off the bone ribs, folks. What we're trying to achieve here, folks, is not the mushy taste, all right, <laughs> that you get from steaming. Ah, right, there we go. Try this piece out. Woo! That's good. Okay, be back in one hour, folks. We'll set our timer. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. There you go, one hour, folks. Alright guys, it's been one hour. Let's pull these tender things off. tender folks. How are you looking there folks? Look at that folks. Beautiful. Fall off the bone. 3, 2, 1 rib. Let's let them rest. What we will gonna do, what Uncle Steve recommends, there ain't much left in there anyway. We're gonna hit it with a final dusting. Just when they're finishing. All right. Of the magic rib. This is good stuff, folks. I'll leave a link to Uncle Steve down below for you. Let's cover these up. We'll let them rest for about a half hour. We'll be right back, folks. Hi, right, guys. They've rested long enough. Let's cut one open. Maybe they haven't. They're still a little warm. Let's cut this one in half. Am I blocking your view, folks? Let me get my fat arm out of the way. We all know baby back can be a little tricky to cut. Always make look at that. Look how juicy those are, folks. Are you picking that up in the sun? Yeah, folks. Now remember, when you make three, two, one ribs, you're making these for your friends, you know, that like fall off the bone ribs. Myself, I don't really care for fall off the bone ribs. But in my backyard, I cook for people who like the different ways of cooking ribs. All right, these are nice, tender, juicy, and they're not all mushy. Mm. Beautiful. Definitely fall off the bone tender. That Uncle Steve Magic Rib, outstanding.
these don't have no mushy taste. Great flavor. Are they overcooked? Of course they're overcooked. The three, two, one rib. Before you run into the comment section, folks, I know these are overcooked, but I got people in my friend zone that like their ribs like this. Myself, I don't like my ribs like this, but uh, I cooked the order, folks. Mm. But the thing is, it's called barbecue love, folks. Cook for the ones you love. I will never tell anyone how to cook their rib. You cook your ribs the way you like them, and that's all that matters. All right? I happen to have a friend that like fall off the bone ribs, so I made them some fall off the bone ribs. All right? I don't make myself fall off the bone ribs, but just so you know, I do know these are overcooked, so you don't have to run to the comic section and remind me. But they are very delicious, very tender. And these are very freaking juicy. And without the mushy taste. See, we didn't steam them in liquid. We just wrapped them. All right. Excellent. Nice bark. All right, folks. Peace out. And thanks for watching.